What's going on? This is Nikki Twist from Wingsound.com, and on these clips here, I'm going to show you how to do step recording in MIDI. That's where you're going to go in, and you're going to set all the notes in the proper places, and really going to be able to create a rhythm here with the song in the MIDI. When you put them, your notes on time in step recording, you know they're on time and there's no mistakes there. So let's get this started. We're going to go up to devices, click on devices. We're going to scroll down to VST instruments, click on VST instruments and that'll pop up a window. You select each one and you pull in each VST instrument you want to use. So we're going to click on number one and we'll go down to one of my favorite VSTs, which is the Massive. We'll X out of the Massive to get it out of the way so we can see what we're doing here. When you pop up your MIDI, it'll automatically bring up a VST editing track underneath it, which will be a whole separate folder where you can go in and add in all your edits and stuff. That's not actually where we put in our step recording. We still have to open up a MIDI track. So we right click on the left, we add a MIDI track, it'll add the MIDI track in. Now it adds in the MIDI track automatically to nothing. We're going to have to assign that. So you go to the left of the output, click on there, and you scroll to the massive. And there's our massive. So now we have our massive and we want to step record. Okay, once we uh, pop open our MIDI track and we assigned it, we want to select the region in which to place the notes. So we'll take two bars here. You highlight the area, it turns blue. Now you double click in that area. And now there's our MIDI region. So now what we do is we double click on this again and it opens it up. Now here's our, our uh, key editor, AKA step recorder. So now you have to assign what you want to quantize your notes to. Uh, we'll just stay simple and do one fourth. Once we open up our, um, our key editor, you want to come up here and click on this, which allows you to do the step input. So now we're gonna bring it to the first note, click here, it should bring a blue bar there. Now whatever note you hit on the left here, it's going to place it wherever the blue bar is. So we'll hit this note here, place that there, we'll go, keep going down here, and every time. So now if you move the blue note, if you want to skip this note here and move to the right, you would move the blue note here, click your note on the left, and it would put it there. That's how you place the notes into uh, MIDI step recording. I hope these clips were able to help you out with what you want to do in Cubase and help you move in the right direction with this music. Now, if you have any more questions, you can reach me at NikkiTwist at Winksound.com, the new social video network for audio creators.